Folks in the house, coming to you on a Thursday evening. Um, been raining the last couple days here. Um, got our share of it on and off, but uh, gotten some downpours, so uh, it's kind of lightened up uh, this evening, so it's kind of nice. Uh, first thing, uh, I gotta give a shout out to Pat. Uh, yesterday, I tried doing a live video with him on YouTube, and uh, after watching, I pulled the plug on it. Uh, kind of rushed it, and... Uh, I, I tried to get it in. Um, we've been watching a couple movies, and uh, he's going to be going on vacation. So I kind of rushed it, and I uh, didn't put too much heart into it, so I kind of pulled it. Um, hopefully, we'll do that video again. Um, he kind of wanted to let it go, but I watched it. <laughs> I just was like, yeah, I don't think so. So I get a shout-out to Pat and say, sorry about that, dude. And I hope you enjoy your vacation. Um, gonna go off a movie topic uh, this evening, and uh, I guess start a little uh, gardening uh, uh, talk a little. Um, wrapping up the garden right now in our area. Gave a neighbor down the uh, way from me uh, some cucumbers and tomatoes because. Uh, They've been doing pretty good this year. Uh, was able to get another uh, crop of beans, so second crop, but it was only one far enough for one person. So I told my parents, I was like, yeah, I'm going to be taking the beans. Um, I ended up uh, throwing them in a frying pan and putting oil in them and sauteing them. Uh, and then I sprinkled a little uh, bread uh, with olive oil and then put breadcrumbs on them. And lightly, I ended up turning out very good. Um, Got onions going, and I thought, why not do this now instead of waiting until um, planting garlic? Um, it's try to do it uh, before the first serious frost. Uh, usually, I do it middle of October um, is when I I'll plant it, and uh, you can't use store bought is what I've read. I, I haven't tried. I've only used uh, locally grown. And uh, I've gone now three years in a row um, growing it. Uh, last year, our cloves seemed a little smaller. This year, they were okay. <coughs> Apologize. <clears throat> and so uh, basically, you get, get a bulb, uh, you know, a farm or a farmer's market uh, that uh, possibly sells them. Uh, buy yourself a couple bulbs and break the bulb up into cloves. And when you plant it in, like I say, for the first frost, point it, let's see if I can do this, put the clove where it's long and uh, put that in the ground. Um, I don't know, finger depth, uh, maybe a little longer uh, in the ground and uh, it'll grow over the winter. And growing time is, um, you definitely want to wait until the end of July. Um, if you pull it out, I last year, I think I pulled it out in June just to see what it was and all. There was nothing even on uh, the bulb. And I did it this year. I decided, now yeah, let's see what happens. It was a very small bulb for uh, middle of July. So I kind of went into August when I uh, finally pulled the um, garlic bulbs. And I think uh, when you start seeing the flower with the garlic uh, seed on the top, it's showing that you're kind of getting to where you're getting your bulb. Um, but again, if you're looking to do it, totally recommend it. Um, but you kind of have to sacrifice a garlic bulb or two uh, to get going. And then once you get that going, um, it's up to you on how big, how many garlic uh, bulbs you want to grow. Um, Pretty uh, decent uh, way to uh, grow some garlic for yourself and um, kind of grown through the winter months. So it's kind of nice that you're doing something that, uh, you know, when uh, spring comes around, you got something going on. Look, something to look forward to in the summer. And so that is uh, Garden Talk. Um, next, I haven't done this in a while, is talk about books. And I have a couple books that... Uh, I haven't recently, one of these, it's been a while since uh, I read it. Not a while, but uh, um, 
this one was a while back, um, called Meltdown James Pollock. Um, basically, um, the book uh, deals with uh, radioactivity occurring in the Arctic Ocean, and a team has to go figure out what's going on. Um, it's got a good thriller, uh, about three-fourths of the way uh, they kind of wrap up what's going on and who did what. Uh, but then the rest of the book is kind of just doing the cleanup and getting things straightened out. So um, it's all right, Reed. Um, next one, uh, Paul Erdman, uh, The Setup. Um, basically uh, dealing with... Um, manipulating the stock market and uh, framing uh, the former chairman. Um, and it, it takes place in Switzerland. Um, good cat and mouse uh, book. Um, the one criminal or how they set it up, there's a, a point where I thought the chapters for telling his story going in the past Took a couple chapters a little I, I it was almost where i was like okay are you gonna get back to what what the guy that's sitting in jail uh, you know what's going on with him i mean i'm sitting there reading about you know how this all started and it's like okay what's the guy in jail doing at this time so i kind of wish there would have been maybe a chapter when they were describing it just to go back to how the guy was doing in prison or whatever but the book, it's a good read. Uh, like I said, good cat and mouse um, uh, story. And uh, it goes. And uh, my last one. Uh, oh, shoot. <laughs> and uh, I, I just went and looked at the name. David Balecci. I hope I said that right. Uh, the Last Mile. Um, this one... Uh, Totally gets a good, it takes you on what they think um, a college player gets framed and he's the Heisman Trophy winner and he's going to go to the NFL and he gets framed for murder for killing his parents and he ends up uh, in Texas and so he's going to get executed and the day he's going to get executed somebody comes forward saying that they did it and he didn't and so then it's a uh, who done it and uh, proving what occurred um decent read uh i liked uh the first half of the book kind of sets you on a road they like oh okay and then there's uh, twists and turns um, even towards three-fourths of the way through the book, there was a, like a twist and turn kind of scenario where um, it just made the book uh, a good read. Um, it And the way they broke up the chapters, it kind of was one, I do my reading when I'm doing laundry. So that's my reading, my main reading time. So I was able to read that book in a good time frame. And... Uh, yeah, so uh, three books, uh, The Last Mile, The Setup, and Meltdown. So those are the books that uh, uh, I recommend or uh, worth uh, worth a read uh, if you're looking to do something else, break away from uh, uh, the internet, uh, television, read a book, take, it, take some time. Um, all kinds of stuff out there, everybody. So uh, getting closer to the weekend. I hope everybody's had a great week. And thanks for, uh, again, uh, watching my videos. And uh, I hope some subscribers join. I'd, I'd love to add some more people to the uh, list. I appreciate everybody that has uh, watched my videos. Um, continue to try to uh, bring some out and... Uh, Again, try to change things up a little bit. I, I know I my main thing is the movie review kind of thing or to discuss obscure movies, but I try to change it up a little bit. Um, haven't been out a little while. Um, but uh, hopefully, I'm not sure if I'm uh, going to be doing a video with Pat 
upcoming, but we'll see what happens. See what is uh, <laughs> how disappointed he was. <laughs> um, we'll go from there. And uh, oh, and I, I ended up doing the garlic bread today. Uh, as a side note, um, made my own garlic bread, and uh, there's a video, a couple uh, videos back uh, that discuss how to make your own garlic bread, uh, garlic butter, or garlic bread. So. Take it easy, everybody, and uh, I hope you guys have the best. Thanks.